This video is a part of our newsletter released on Monday, March 8th, which is International Women's Day. To mark this special day, I thought I'd share a few considerations we discuss with our affluent female clients who are considering large life insurance transactions. The first is to recognize that, as a woman, these clients are quite likely to outlive a male spouse and be on their own for a number of years. Even with a female spouse, there's roughly a 50% chance a woman will be in the same situation. This means a couple things. First, if a policy's death benefit is to be used to provide money for these women to live off of, we want to make sure the insured is the right insured. And by right insured, I'm talking about a person who will probably die first. Then, we want to be certain that women are either direct beneficiaries or beneficiaries of a trust receiving the death benefit for the policy. Conversely, if a woman is using a policy for supplemental income, perhaps they have purchased a life insurance policy as part of a retirement plan. The longevity bit is equally as important. We don't want them running out of money. Now in these situations, we review policy structures to make sure the minimum amount of life insurance costs permitted by law are included so that these costs don't weigh down the growth of the cash value. Next, we look at how our clients will tap into the policy for income. Now assuming they are taking tax-free loans from the policy, we want to make sure that the policy is structured so that the longevity is considered and our clients are not in the situation of having a policy lapse and having income tax due on the cash value growth at that time. One more consideration we discuss with our high net worth female clients is because they're likely to be on their own for a period of time, we'd like to know who will be stepping in to make decisions for them, including decisions about their life insurance policy, should they be unable to do so. We want this person to be a trusted party who will act in the best interests of our client. Remember, at Life Insurance Strategies Group, we do not sell products. We offer independent and unbiased advice to help our high net worth clients make decisions about life insurance. If we can help you, please visit us at lifeinsurancestrategiesgroup.com.